happy Wednesday. I am feeling so much better this morning and refreshed. I went to bed early. I forgot to hit publish on my vlog, you might have noticed, but that went up this morning. But I got in some knitting and I'm feeling much, much better today. But you're not gonna believe what I did this morning. So James has a potluck at school today and my plan was just to make those easy cocktail meatballs that you throw into the crock pot with barbecue sauce. So when I was out yesterday and running all those errands, I stopped at the grocery store specifically to get the meatballs. I found a few other things in the freezer section that I was picking up and I thought would be great to have over the holidays. And I got home, I put everything away. I woke up at five o'clock this morning to put everything into the crock pot, super easy, not a big deal. And I could not find the meatballs. I looked in every freezer, we have three, and I could not find them anywhere. And then I realized I forgot to get them. So I had to wait for the store to open and at seven o'clock in the morning, I went to the grocery store, got the meatballs and everything is just bubbling away. And I'm just getting ready to put that all in a pan so I can bring it to school. But I am a little bit tired from that, but feeling much, much better today. So I am gonna drop off the potluck dish at school. I am going to come back and do a little bit of work. I have Camden home with me today, so I'm hoping that this afternoon I can do some of my work in front of a movie with him. That would be really, really nice. We'll see how it goes. at James's school and I've been getting so many fun comments about all of my whips that I showed yesterday and I thought it's a new day why not show you what else I'm finding along the way because after I filmed everything I kept thinking about some missing projects there are more so down here in this basket that you probably see every day when I film on my little table here those are all of the minis that I have for my Cozy Memories blanket. Now I've totally lost interest in this, so I think this might be coming my heels, toes, and cuffs basket, but here's my Cozy Memories. I do love it. I just don't get around to knitting on it, so I've got that in that bag. I have this bag, which I've been taking with me here and there with a sock that I love. It's this beautiful scrumptious pearl again. And I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen it. I'm just checking, is there anything else in there? Nope. And this, I can't remember if it's poolside or pool party, but I love this colorway. I cast this on when we were on vacation and I think it's so pretty. So those are two more, but there are more I'm going to show you. I finally found my missing dotted raised shawl. I had this basket, mostly filled with empty bags, but my dotted raised was in there. This is a project I love, and I've done quite a bit, so I'm definitely putting this in my queue for the beginning of the year when I can. And I even love this yarn. This is yarn that I dyed like a year or so ago, and I really, really love this color. So that's in my beautiful zigzag stitches bag from Espas Trico. And I also found the beginnings of Starting Point Shawl, which is a beautiful pattern from Hohi Locatelli. I couldn't see the front, that's it there. I don't have much of this done. This is a big project and I'm definitely going to continue it one day, but I'm not sure when. So I think my plan, maybe over Christmas break, when things, when I have a few days to relax, I think I'm actually gonna go through all of these whips, kind of prioritize them. I might even put them in my queue because I have some, like, oops, in this bag. I have a sweater that I started swatching for, but I kind of lost interest and I don't think I'm gonna proceed with that one. I do have this um, basket of yarn here, which is for a beautiful sweater. 
um, using some Tannis Fiber Arts, and I would like to do that again one day. I had a problem with it and frogged it. And then I have dream knitting projects here. I don't have a huge stash, but these are some of my more recent things. Actually, this is older. This was a campsite shawl that I had started, and I ripped that out too. Um, this was yarn that I got at Rhinebeck last year. This is for a potential Zwieg or Zweig sweater. And then here's that beautiful stuff that I got um, at Emily's kind of open house at Viola Yarns. And I've got ideas for that, but it's just kind of seeping everywhere. Like this is pretty much my stash other than fingering. My fingering weight is mostly up here and I've kind of cleaned up a little bit but I do have all of these bags with projects in them and I think that's what I'm going to focus on. So I'm really going to start the year off, clean off any needles and projects that I don't want to continue with and um, start putting these in my queue. I just had a delicious brunch with Camden and my friend Sandra stopped in so that we could exchange gifts before Christmas. And only a knitter would give you the most beautiful alpaca. This might be a llama, but look at this. I think it is a llama actually, because look at his ears. He's so cute. And look at this beautiful gift she brought me. She made this tiny little tote bag for me and it is so cute. I love mini things. And now I'm just trying to figure out what am I gonna use it for? It could be so many different things. It's so adorable. Sandra makes project bags and has an Etsy shop if you're interested. Um, it is Fiber Insanity. I'll put it up on the screen. But look at it, so cute. She said she got this tutorial online. Maybe I'll put that up on the screen too if you're interested. It was something like a tiny tote bag. So pretty, I love it. She also knows me so well. Look at these pins she gave me. One of them is Alice in Wonderland. I love that book. And this Draw Something pencil is so cute. So I'm gonna find the perfect bag to put those on. And this adorable mug that looks knitted. So awesome. I can't wait to use this one tomorrow. Thank you so much, Sandra. I love everything. I'm just wrapping up in the sewing room for the day. It has been a long afternoon of sewing on labels and cutting corners out of linings, but Camden was really preoccupied with his own stuff, so I just took advantage of it and got as much done as I could. And when I was cutting the corners out of the linings, I got a chance to sit and watch podcasts. So I caught up on some Ina Knits vlogs, which are one of my favorites, and it just felt like such a treat to have three of them to watch. So I loved that. And then this package just arrived from my awesome friend, Meg, who is from the Wool and Cookies podcast. Meg and I do a Christmas swap, and this is what was in my box from her. And it's just so beautiful, everything. She always knows how to put together such a perfect package. She just has a knack for it. Even her cards are always gorgeous. I'm gonna keep this one and put it in my planner. So she sent me one of my favorite ranges from Emma Bridgewater. I don't have any of it, but it's this beautiful, large hot chocolate mug. And I'm so excited to use this. It's so Christmassy. I think it also would be really good for a big, huge mug of tea. She sent me this beautiful candle, which I think is from her local yarn shop, which is Wool and Honey. And it smells amazing. There's a cute enamel pin from Freckled Whimsy. And I don't know how she knew this or how you knew this, Meg, because I never mentioned it, but I have been wanting to make face cloths or dish cloths for quite a long time. And she sent these beautiful colors of a cotton linen blend to make this marled linen face cloth from Wool and Honey. And it's so pretty. Thank you so much, Meg. I love everything. I don't know how you do it, but you always just get it so right and you're so sweet. So thank you. 
Meg is also my plucky knitter supplier of sorts. She has a great stash of it and a local yarn shop that usually has a great selection of it. And so she helped me pick out some colors for one of my upcoming projects, which is the three color cashmere cowl. Wool and Honey had all these beautiful colors at their Christmas party, I think it was a week or two ago. So Meg was sending me pictures of different combinations and she helped me pick out this gorgeous combination, which I cannot wait to cast on. And it's just perfect. So I purchased those through Meg and she sent them to me. It's the Primo Fingering, which is the, the cashmere blend. This is Wintry Mix. This is Pure Michigan and Hearth and Home. So I love them. They're perfect, Meg. Thank you so much. You always come through with Plucky.